Gardaí Cáine. These allegations have been brought forward by Tom Darcy, author and whistleblower, and his colleague Liam Deegan, uh, an investigative journalist. Uh, the duo have urged Gardaí to launch an investigation into Tulsa Éireann, uh, which is formerly known as the Property Registration Authority of Ireland, accusing it of breaking the law to favour vulture funds. In response, the Gardaí have now initiated a criminal investigation into the government agency responsible for registering property and land in the Republic of Ireland. In this, I warn the consequences of this criminal investigation will reverberate uh, beyond the Irish financial markets, uh, potentially causing serious disruption in international stock, market, stock markets and securities trading worldwide. Tom goes on to say, uh, criminal law supersedes civil law. This investigation should halt all evictions, repossessions and auctions across Ireland. It should also suspend all legal proceedings in every Irish court where third parties have initiated proceedings based on evidence from Tulsa Aaron. More importantly, it's it is retrospective and may affect every single registration of a charge on a folio registered using the third party power of attorney process. I went on to further explain that every registration by any entity other than the original mortgage, mortgagee, uh, according to Irish law, requires consent from the borrower to his or her power of attorney being used by way of an attested power of attorney. That's to say that the signature of the borrower by consent is witnessed by a practicing solicitor and is dated. That never happens. Never happens. Contrary to law, uh, it is alleged by myself and Tom that Tulsa Aaron has violated the power of attorney act 1996 by failing to adhere to Irish statute law. As a consequence of such uh, being a criminal act, Tulsa Aaron have aided and abetted and furnishing others which su with such false, uh, sorry, such known false and fabricated documentation leading to the perpetration of larceny and theft of Irish family homes, property, businesses, farms and goods. This is including perjury that they do before the Irish courts. Um, obviously such an act uh, is known as perverting the course of justice. And this is a criminal act, this is a proper act. Yes. And this is where we have them. They now know it, but as little you can do about it right now. So essentially what we said to is that we've made uh, additional allegations which we haven't outlined in this press release and we haven't mentioned to anybody. Uh, but how, however, it is understood that one of them involves Tulsa Aaron, Tulsa Aaron uh, being accused of attempting to, to pervert the course of justice. This is a serious offence if we prove it, and we're going to prove it. Today we're not sitting down, today we're standing up proud unified and we're going to do very serious damage to these people. <laughs>